In today's video, we're going to feature one of the best builds for soloing the seven star terror raid event Samurott that is live now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, after the event dropped, we covered a video with Cloyster, which is one of the most consistent builds that you can take in to do this raid. But we've also got another build to feature right now for you that's going to make it a lot easier for you to go in and beat this thing in game solo. Big shout out for this strategy has to go to one of our viewers, Brandon Ziegler, and I hope you don't don't mind me sharing this but this was a strategy that was shared on the original video and something after I've tested it I have to share it with all of you because it is going to make everything so much easier for going into this tricky raid with that focus energy crit machine Samurott that can be a bit more tricky than some of the other seven star terror raids. So the build for the Taurus is going to be the fire Paldean Taurus and you can see here it is that fighting and fire type. It has got the terror type fire and it has got the held item shell bell the beauty about this set is that it does have that ability anger point which plays off the critical hits that are continuously going to be coming out from the Samurai. Every time you take a critical hit with the Taurus, your attack goes to plus six, which means you're gonna be able to do a boatload of damage to the Samurai, making it very easy work for you. The set that we've got on this Taurus is gonna be Sunny Day, Tail Whip, Flare Blitz, and Raging Bull. The only move that you're gonna to need to teach it is gonna be Sunny Day. The rest of the moves on the set are all learned through level up. You wanna get this Taurus to level 100, you wanna give it an adamant nature and an EV spread of 252 attack and and then 252 defense that's important make sure you do have that ev spread because it means you're going to be able to take these attacks a lot better from the samurai even if they are a critical hit and like i say with the adamant nature there the anger point the shell bell and then that fire terror typing so that is the build all of the information for this build will be all in the description below so you can check it out a bit more in detail if you would like to and we'll head into the raid now and i'll show you exactly how you can do this raid very very easily and very quickly in your game solo without having to worry about going online or having any issues beating this samurai i've done it a few times with this tour so far and it is very quick and very easy and straightforward so turn zero we come into the raid as always the samurai will set up its focus energy and that is fine. The first turn that we're gonna do is go for a Tail Whip because that is gonna reduce the defense stat on this Samurott by one stage and it won't remove those stat drops for a little while into this raid. First turn, we're gonna take that Aqua Cutter and you can see the effect of the Anger Point here after that critical hit, which will boost our attack to plus six. Fortunately, this turn is a null, a dead turn for us because we're expecting to get knocked out. We might survive this turn. Uh, it, we do with the uh, the bulldoze there even with did we get a critical hit if we got a critical hit on us there we get knocked out ideally we want to be knocked out there but unfortunately we don't now with that speed drop we aren't out speeding the samurai now so you want to try and go for a sunny day but obviously we can't do that so the point here is that we get knocked out we're not going to see another bulldoze for the rest of the game which is great because the speed drop is nullified now meaning that every turn from now on we are going to outspeed it. Samurott's going to throw up its shield. Now, once the times tick down and we come back in, we want to use Sunny Day. Next turn, Sunny Day will have that speed reset, so we will be going first. It will reduce the damage of those water type attacks, so even if they are a critical hit, which we're kind of hoping for because we want that anger point ability activated. There we go, we see we're not taking too much damage because of that EV investment, and we're in a good spot now to just start doing some big damage to this Samurott and after this you want to just click that Raging Bull it is going to be a fire type attack it's going to be boosted by the sun we're going to be doing good damage to this Samurott and the big thing about the Samurott is we're going to be getting rid of that shield and then after that it's a walk in the park we'll see the drill run come out here it's going to do decent damage again another critical hit um, but this next Raging Bull will be enough to take the shield down and the nice thing about the shell bell is as well it's keeping us pretty healthy the entire time doing this so once you've got that initial setup you've got that first turn after you fainted out the way it's pretty easy sailing after that and all you need to do is just spam the raging bull attack now you might get your stats nullified again later on in this match but the sun's still being up you should be able to take uh, another critical hit and get that stat boost again and um, get that plus six 
to uh, do some big damage. You can see the damage here. The next one of these Raging Bulls should be enough to pick up the Samurott. As you see, the Shell Bell kind of working in conjunction. And uh, there we go. There's the stats and abilities nullified here. We're going to see a Sword Stance come out from the Samurott, which can make it a little bit tricky. But again, it's nothing to really worry about because all you're doing is clicking that Raging Bull. And you can Terrastalize because at this stage, you should be able to Terrastalize. It'll boost your fire type attacks and just uh, mean that you're able to do a little bit more damage, which will make dealing with this Samurott super super easy and super straightforward there we haven't got the plus six anger point at the minute but this drill run should activate there we go I'm gonna get that anger point activated now after that critical hit and this next raging bull will be enough to take it down after we are plus six and I'll just show you the stats just to kind of give you a reference of the anger point in effect giving you that such an easy stat boost and with one raging bull here will, will be enough to take this Samurott down with the sun in effect i feel like uh this one is oh it's not quite enough so we might actually uh the the recovery there we get it so we should take another attack but you can see here the aqua cutter might oh just four hp that's where the evs come in clutch there and now this next raging bull is going to be enough and it is as easy as that friends as easy as that with this taurus build and again a massive shout out to brandon for uh, sharing this strat with us because i think for the community on a whole it's a really good and easy one for everyone to have access to like the cloister you can go into your games and access this one obviously uh, the fire taurus is exclusive to scarlet but i'm hoping that the violet players will have access to friends that they can trade with or something like that where they'll be able to get access to the fire type taurus but like i say it's as easy as that the build will be down in the description and you're going to have a cakewalk with this one if you get the taurus and uh, go into it so you've got two really good options going into these raids with the cloister from our original build and then this taurus which after testing i was like i have to make a video about it and give brandon a huge shout out for it so i hope you find it useful and let me know if you've got any builds that you've been going into these raids with and having a lot of success but i do feel like between the cloister and the taurus between these two builds you're gonna have no problem with this samurai at all so hope you found it useful if you have please drop a like on the video it does really help and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our scarlet and violet content including our raid builds and things like that have a great rest of your day friends if we've got any more builds of course we'll be posting them on the channel but until the next one take care of yourselves and bye bye <laughs>